Hello everyone, my name is Ferris and today I'll be talking about sentiment search, making the internet your focus group. In marketing and in politics, you often have to answer the question, how does the public view our product or how does the public view this political candidate? The primary methods can be very expensive, which is why we created sentiment search, a tool that displays the general sentiment or the public's view given a certain idea. So to get a view of sentiments across the internet, we analyze text data from multiple social media sites as well as news sources because each difference, each uh, platform had different levels of security around their data. We had to use custom scripts for each of those platforms to collect their data. We also had to, we also had to skip some posts to downsize our data set while making it as representative as possible. Altogether, we collected about 2.3 million posts, including the significant events from Wikipedia that add subcontext to our visualization. Evaluation-wise, we used the library of other sentiment to classify the sentiment of our posts, and we evaluated the results of the classification on Amazon reviews, which proved to be accurate. Visualization-wise, it outputs four graphs. The first graph, which I call the timeline, shows the count of posts over time. The height of the bars here show the count of posts at each date, while the color of the, or the while the color of the bars show the average sentiment of the posts for that date. Blue is for uh, very positive, while red is more negative. In addition, we also plotted these bubbles or circles, which denote the significant events uh, occurring at that date with the, the color of the bubbles given by the average sentiment of the post for that date. The user is able to hover over these circles to know more about those events, as well as hover over all of these bar charts to know the specific sentiment and count of posts for that date. In addition, as they are hovering over these bar charts, this graph here gets updated as well to show the breakdown of sentiments by platform for that date. The third graph is the top 24 or, or so words with the most popular words being plotted in this graph. The color of the words denote the average sentiment of the post containing that word, which is a very useful tool, tool for marketing and campaigning to know which words are powerful and emotional. Lastly, we have this platform polarity pie chart, which shows the fraction of posts which are positive, neutral, and negative. In conclusion, we have built this multidimensional visualization tool that gives you the, the feeling, the general sentiment of the internet over a certain period of time given a keyword. This tool can be used to compare sentiments expressed on different platforms and give insights on the most common words. We see feature adaptations using real-time media posts to dynamically view the sentiment of the internet.